Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. In the last episode, we came to Shaman Village. We did Trial Road, which let us duplicate a lot of items, but more importantly, in terms of the story, um, it let us get the Hover Jade, which will allow us to um, get through the Jupiter Lighthouse. Yeah, if we went to the Jupiter Lighthouse earlier, we would have gotten stuck at some point without this. So now we have it, we can go back and... Yeah, finally, finally light a lighthouse. It's been forever, I feel like, since we've done that. All right, um, well, let's chat with these people now, now that um, they're not ignoring us as outsiders. So you rose to the challenge of Trial Road. Mappa was quite impressed with you. Let's see, let's put on... Mind Read. And I guess maybe Reveal? Yeah, I'll do Reveal. There, now that the houses are unlocked, we can find a few hidden items and also get a gin. A gin here. Mappa is quite honorable to sing their praises. This is what makes him a leader. <laughs> He's a little bit misogynistic. Didn't, didn't believe Shiba could be the hero. Heroes cannot be evil, and now that we have learned that heroes can be foreigners too, and also women. We are too cautious around strangers. The world should not be such an unfriendly place. Well, everyone's learned. Have we talked to you? I don't know if I talked to you guys. Everyone is depressed that Moapa lost his big fight. They should be glad the hero came. My husband is getting neurotic, <laughs> worrying about whether his weapons caused the loss. I was stunned to hear that Moapa lost his battle. His weapons all came from my own warehouse, so I feel a little responsible. Although it's not right to blame his loss on the weapons he used. He couldn't afford it if that rumor started going around. Aren't you like the only weapon vendor on the- probably like on the continent? On, on this piece of land that you're on? Uh, okay, I think- I think where all the items are. Can I go in this house? There's a lot of people in here. Hello, old people and children. For years, the people of Asperia fought against the people of Ateca. Our own Chaman village was caught up in this war, as were the people of Contigo. I had thought that after Yegalos, Contigo remained without a new hero. Now suddenly a hero shows up who is mightier than even Moapa. It's beyond belief. In those dark times, Contigo and Shaman fought repeatedly to protect our lands. We fought to no avail till we decided to let Huabda and Yegalos fight for the outcome. It's just like, let's just trial by the single combat. The stories always said that the heroes of Contigo were inferior to our own. Now I'm not so sure. Sounds like a fair match, yet Shaman's hero lost. Always trying to paint your own your own history in a better light. I've always wondered why the final battle between Huabda and Yegalos took place here. I think Yegalos is really brave for traveling here traveling here all the way from Contigo. Everyone's always come to ask Grandma and Grandpa about the old battles of legend. It's all anyone ever talks to them about anymore. I'll bet they're tired of it. The battles between Shaman and Contigo were terrible, and few warriors ever survived. Eventually, our towns chose Wapna and Yegalos to fight as our champions. Grandma and Grandpa have been in a terrible mood since they heard Moapa loss. Probably tired of being asked about the ancient war between Ateca and Asperia. Everyone just wants to stop fighting. Right, let's check out. There's like a lot of people in the end that I just like ignored. You traveled to lots of different lands, haven't you? We have. That explains it. The only reason you won is because of your travels. Your strange exotic weapons are what won the day, not your skill. I mean, I also have magic and magical creatures on me, so... Mwapa has been miserable since his defeat. If only I could have taken his place up there. The innkeeper? Ah uh, yes, it's verse versus the innkeeper. I've been locked up inside all day. I'm so glad to get outside and stretch. All the older people in town are really upset that Mwapa lost. It doesn't matter to us kids. I think they're too hung up on tradition. That, that was my gin recovering. Ah, I've been inside for so long. I think I'll have a little picnic. But what should I eat? 
I'm starving. Can't wait until dinner. I love my meat and potatoes and beans. Must be the spices that the chef uses. Lots of salt and lots of pepper. Don't get too much gas, all right, lady. I'm gonna explode. We're very fond of Moapa here. He's a great leader. If anyone in town says something mean to you, please forgive them. You guys be nuts how worked up everyone gets about Moapa around here. Around here, people like a nice hot steak and some potatoes and beans. You foreigners might be used to strange exotic food, but we like our meals simple. Those fancy foreign chefs use all sorts of spices to hide the flavor of their food. As far as I'm concerned, there's only two spices, salt and pepper. <laughs> Not very exotic, are we? I mean, I guess salt... Salt used to be a very valuable seasoning back then. Okay, uh, simmering, we brought the cow bones. Alright, we already looked at the oven before. Is anyone downstairs? I think I remember us being alone. And I'm pretty sure we already collected the treasure that was over here. I don't think I have to worry about that. Go check the other houses. The other houses that were unlocked. Everyone in town is talking about how you have fulfilled Hoabna's promise. I hope that we remain close friends with Contigo after this. It's like even talk or trade. You guys are very isolated on your own continents. I can finally open the door and air the place out. Can't believe Moapa was on the mountain fighting while I was stuck in here. Thought it was quiet out, out here. Been locked inside all day so I couldn't check. Oh, because they were fighting Wampa up on Trial Road. I also gotta go up on Trial Road and get the treasures that I skipped. If I'd known that there was going to be a challenge on Trial Road, I wouldn't have locked up. I would have been right up there watching the fight. It would have been a spectacle. Nobody got to watch the challenge at Trial Road. Just too far from town. What a stupid law. It makes us hide away and miss all the battles. <laughs> would have been like Colosso. I mind read you, right? Yeah. Let's go up here. Now oh, we can finally go up on this balcony. We can... Oh, first move this out of the way. Now we can jump over there and get that gin. We have to go from a different direction, though. Hi, right, let's talk to you. <laughs> Hula, Baloo! Hi. So you like to hear your fortune, would you? Sure. Oh, you caught me in a good mood. I'll do it. Hula, Baloo. Bala, Bahu. Hula, Balua. I can see it clearly. Your life is thick with danger. Oh, wow. That was a strong one. Listen, don't go south. Bad stuff down there. Wow. Oh, it's terrible. Awful beyond words. No more! No more! Okay, time to go south. Can I mind read you? That's weird. Everything is cloudy. The ether is gray and full of mists. The world is undergoing some sort of change, it seems. Kinda weird. A really unique sprite. Uh, okay, we got a treasure and a shaman's hut. Found a lucky pepper. Let's look at the soup. Never seen vegetables like the ones boiling there. Whoa, they really stink. Do pe people actually eat those? Maybe he's making some sort of, like, brew. Let's eat my lucky pepper. Well, Suni's luck. Oh, Piers. Yeah, I am gonna, like, switch around the gin so my luck might go up and down on some characters. I'll give it to poor Piers, though. Let's give Piers some love. I feel like he's not as loved as a lot of the other characters. Right, because he always gets, like, replaced with Mia. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see, there was another... Oh, I think there was actually something up there. <laughs> Oops, not, not that barrel. But yeah, there's something in this jar. Got a lucky metal, which I probably will not use, but I have it. Stack it with the other ones. Alright, so that's the last treasure in Shaman Village. Now we just have to go to Trial Road. 
push the <laughs> push lady out of the way. Out of my way! Some people among the shaman tribe possess a special power. The story goes that those with this power are the chosen few. People living on the outskirts of Shaman Village have different powers from us. Why would that be? I don't know. What's I think I'm trying to think what, what synergies they would align with. There's not a lighthouse on this continent, but Seems like they would align with Jupiter because of the Cyclone Stone, but eh. After your battle, did you check on the other side of the mountain? No. If you have the same powers Wapna had, you might be able to get there. No one with the power of the Shaman Tribe alone can reach the Hidden Spring. So, you're saying if I have multiple powers, I can though. If I had the power to break down walls of sand, I'd climb to the other side of the mountain. Well, I did go- I didn't go that far. We didn't go- we didn't explore all of it, though. You defeated Moapa, and that is ample proof of your skills, warrior. I think you'll find that the sh people of Shaman Village treat you quite differently now. And yeah, you're not just triple dotting me. Someday, a child in Shaman will grow to be stronger than even Moapa. Then the Shaman tribe will rise up again and reclaim what it once lost to Contigo. The people of Shaman Village are normally quiet, valiant, and noble. You defeated Moapa, and we must respect the bravery you demonstrated in fighting him. It's tough to imagine this, but <laughs> this bunch beating Moapa, but I'm not thinking about it. Not gonna, not gonna mention it. Oh, please, let a true warrior be born in Shaman. Let us forget this disgrace. <laughs> They're already praying for Moapa's, Moapa's replacement. <laughs> I can't forgive the fact that Contigo's heroes beat our leader Moapa. I have a new hero born in Shaman, one who can crush those Contigo barbarians. Oh. Don't be too pleased with yourself for beating Moapa. One of these days we'll come storming into Contigo and we'll show you what's what. Oh, you, you, are you the... We got the factions, we got the people who want peace and then the, the, the old people who want war. Wapa must have been hungry after climbing that mountain. That's the only way those lousy Contigo nobodies could have beaten him. You beat Moapa! Incredible! Not that I ever doubted you. The older folks of Shaman are quite upset that Moapa was beaten. I'm afraid this might lead to renewed fighting between Shaman and Contigo. Oh boy, we just sparked another war. Da -da. Let's see. Hi, buddies. I don't think the other villagers will ever forgive us for losing to you on Trial Road. If they had any idea how strong you are, they wouldn't be complaining. <laughs> that wasn't a fair fight. I was all worn out from the climb. How could I fight? I don't know how managed to fight after climbing a mountain like that. Your deck showed skill and speed, but if we meet in battle again, I won't lose. Just climbing the top of Trial Road is excruciating. Must have been hard for Yegalos and Huabna, too. In a formal battle, it is both customary and honorable to give your name. It's not too late for you. Please go tell my father your names. Did we not? Wait, I thought we introduced ourselves. <laughs> or are we saying something else, like pledging ourselves or something? What a shame. My own father losing to some ignorant foreigner with bad manners. Why does it matter if you know the name of someone who beat you or not? <laughs> Girl. It's so old fashioned to have to give your name to an opponent before a battle. I know, you're just gonna kill them. It's like. <laughs> Mwapa said that he doesn't even know the names of the heroes who beat him. He feels bad for not having asked. Maybe you should go tell him your names. I guess we didn't introduce ourselves. <laughs> Maybe he just didn't care. I feel bad not knowing the names of a warrior who defeated me, I guess. You have defeated me, and yet I still do not know your names. Would you tell me? Sure. Felix, Jenna, Shiva, and Piers. I shall remember those names. We do not forget the names of heroes who can defeat me in fair combat. Well, good thing I told you. You can, you can tell the next generation now. Felix, Jenna, Shiva, and Piers. I won't forget those names. Someday, in, someday their names will be engraved on the columns leading to Trial Road. Is anyone in the cellar? No, oh, just beds. And the lash though. Oh wait, I need I need to lash that. <laughs> I need to go that way. Uh the, the, where 
my synergies among my many synergies. Oh, there we go, and now I can finally reach this thing! Adja, Jenna found the genie aroma! Okay. Become a better ninja. I don't feel like I could class up ninja. Disciple. <laughs> but I can become something else. Death Leap. Oh, that's kind of cool. I okay. I lose Death Plunge, but I learn Death Leap instead. Okay, it's just kind of a. I'm guessing Death Leap is that water versus. Kind of curious. Mildly curious to see what that does. What, uh, element that aligns with. Let me go outside and just, like, run around. I think there might be actually monsters on Trial Road, but... You just, like, hop out. Just... Run back and forth. Come on, I actually want to fight! Is it? <laughs> Do I have a void in effect? Okay, there we go. Not by surprise, I don't know. Beat a foe with a strange fan. Still Jupiter. Sonic Slash, I just have better better wind. Whee. Wow. <laughs> Kaboom! I feel like that just class is like a class up of ninja. Cool, it evolved! Now to un reclass you so you're something different, Jenna. Uh, okay, so I wanted to make Felix a samurai for a while. Um, but that'll probably take Jenna away from ninja. But let me see. How am I gonna? How am I gonna mix and match this? So, for Samurai, Felix will need Jupiter and Mars, I believe? I already have Mars. I think he needs one more. I need to take... <laughs> that, that turns her into a Samurai. <laughs> Dinner. Yeah. Keep trading. There we go. Now, now he's a samurai. Can I class up, or do I need? I probably need nine. I probably need nine Jin to class up samurai to Ronin. Hey, become a disciple. That that just puts Felix into ninja territory. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll keep it like that. Maybe I'll make Jenna a dragoon so she kind of just becomes a healer. So what would that? I need more water. I just rain. Okay. Uh, I go straight from dragoon into templar. Bloom Edge. Apply Wish Well Avoid. No! No Revive, which- wait, uh, yeah, I lose Revive. No Revive, which is concerning, but... I can keep Shiva as a White Mage, or maybe I can class Piers as a White Mage instead. I kind of just want to mix everyone up. Uh, let's see. What has Jenna not- or Chiba not been? I don't think she's been- I don't think she's been a ranger. 
I need a trade. I need fire. Three fire. She goes from straight for ranger to bard. <laughs> okay. That makes Piers is a... Piers is a white mage now. That's fine. I have, I have, like, technically two healers. How tanky is he? He's more tanky now. So it's kind of good that he has revive. <laughs> Alright. Kinda weird to think Piers is like a white mage. I think if I like took away... Yeah, if I took away one Jupiter, he'd become a medium. But I do like having the AoE hills, Wish or Aura. Keep it like that. Okay. Let's rock. Let's rock this for a while. There's a lot of the same classes that we've already used before, it's just on different, on different characters. Um, uh, okay, so... Oh, do I want to do Trial Road? Like, I have to, like... I can get the treasures that I did, like, I didn't get on the path that I didn't take. But then I have to go up again anyway. <laughs> when I have Isaac to get some other stuff. So, I'm like, I'm gonna go back up regardless. You know, battle with Moapo is just like the legendary battles between Huabna and Yegalos. I would love to have watched to see a new legend in the making. <laughs> Never thought I'd live to see the day Huabna's promise was fulfilled. Of course, I never thought anyone with Contigo blood could defeat a shaman hero. This belief. Maybe I can at least get the, the trust I missed at the beginning of the trial. <laughs> the, the, the one here, I just decided not to get it because I wouldn't really need it. Oh, we got sad music now. Yeah, all the treasures are here. It really wasn't that bad to just get it. <laughs> oh heck. <laughs> um... Poopy. I don't have I don't have access to Gale anymore. <laughs> I need whirlwind though. Not actually, never mind. Uh, brain. Okay, I didn't. I didn't even need to take that rope. <laughs> I was like so hung up thinking that this is like an actual barrier. Yeah, I totally could have gotten that. No problem. I would have still been able to complete the trial. Alright, and we can go down the other side if we want. But... I think if it's like... Yeah, so these puzzles are a lot harder. Or they, at least they take a lot longer to complete. And I'm gonna have to go up... Back up again anyway later, so maybe I'll just... Save that. For a different time. <laughs> it's not gonna kill me not having the vials and the nuts. And the potions. Or maybe it will, I don't know. Uh, who has a void now? You, you have a void. Okay. We. That was a weird. I like hopped. <laughs> I like fell down. Weird animations. So we need to do Jupiter, but I don't know if I'll have a lot of time to even, like, get through most of it. I mean, like, Jupiter Lighthouse is a pretty long lighthouse. But let's at least go to Sunshine. It's gonna be a little bit of a trek. Uh, let's craft some stuff, clear out our inventory, and... 
Yeah, at least at least get at least get there. Look at this puzzle, which I can't do until later. That Jin's just gonna taunt us for now. Do 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 monsters. Dragon Cloud, I kinda wanna see what this looks like. Unleash a myriad of monsters. Demon Knight, this is like the Demon Knight parade. And we get a lot of boosts. This actually would be good for Jenna if we just want her as a support character. Molten Bath. I wanna see Dragon Cloud. Sounds like it would be cool. Attack with Foaming Geyser. That actually might be good for. I think a Dragoon actually might be good for Felix. Um. In the upcoming lighthouse, just because having water, a water synergy attack would be would be nice. And we've seen all those attacks before. Dragon Cloud. Okay, that's not that exciting. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like Rising Dragon. is an attack that is used against you at some point and it just like lifts you up into the sky and it just looks like an attack a final like a final boss would use to kill the hero we're going on a sailing trip I <laughs> this yeah, it's gonna take a while, guys. I could cut it out. <laughs> We're just gonna enjoy the trip. Gently sailing on the ocean. How you doing, guys? This. <laughs> Hope you've been relaxing. A lot of sounds outside. Is that the cat? That's a cat. I can't determine if that's the cat or the roofers. The roofers, I'm sorry, because you're gonna start hearing some pounding on the on the flipping ceiling. It's kind of amazing how much stuff they can take off the roof. It's not just like the shingles, like oh, like oh dang, there's an antenna, like a metal vent piece that they took out, just like scraps of metal and wood everywhere. I hope they get the new roof on fast enough. There might be a delay and then apparently it might rain next week. I'm just like, uh, that's not good. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty dry here though. Doo -doo. Da -da -da. I try some more synergy. How about let's unleash the night parade. Yeah, just summoning some uh, demons, it's fine. We already summoned the gods, so. It's a little demon. A little extra souls from the dead gonna do. We should definitely be able to avoid all the monsters here, because they are weaker. The only annoying part is having to circle the whole continent. <laughs> just to get to the river that leads to Yalam. Oh, do I not have a void up? Let's see what Molten Bath looks like. You guys don't die in one hit. Oh bye. This <laughs> we will not see how Molten Bath looks. We shall avoid. Also, I should probably check 
my Jin layout. Okay, I get Chinder. How about we put Spark on you? Let's do that. Do it. This. <laughs> uh. That's kind of interesting. I mean, my synergy doesn't change what my stats do. I'll take it. I can, like, totally mid-max with certain, uh... Certain gin. Huh, I never really thought about, like, different gin giving you certain boosts. They're not all, like, one-to-one. -one. But anyway, I wanted to spread out my revives. Uh... Just so if there's an emergency, I can use Spark or, or Tinder. It's not just all on peers to revive everyone. Still not that close. I, I, I just want to like keep checking the map over and over again, even though it's not going to be any use. Actually, I can't believe how close we are to actually beating this game, though. Um, be very surprised. Like once you do the Jupiter Lighthouse, it's like a hop, skip, and a jump away from the Mars Lighthouse. It's kind of kind of weird the pacing of this game because like this whole time this like this whole adventure so far has been us just collecting synergy in order to reach said lighthouse and then like once we got all the synergies all of a sudden we can solve all the puzzles but I felt like in golden sudden one they like they paced out the lighthouses like pretty far apart I feel like we went to Mercury pretty soon in the game. And then, of course, Venus was at the very end. This kind of did the opposite here. They're like, do all the other dungeons and then the two lighthouses at the very end. We made it! Alright. Okay, you know, let's do the rested weapons. I they'll probably won't even be an upgrade and I can just sell it. Alright, let's get these get some elbow grease on this sword and staff. See what see what I make. Saber. Is that a light blade? It is light blade. Unleash a scorpion fish. I guess I actually give that to Jenna. Leave that just gets replaced immediately, but <laughs> the glower staff isn't good for Shiba, is it? No. Alright, let's get a new rod. Make something great. All righty. Excuse me. Pardon me. Alright, now the rod turns into a goblin rod. Or the staff, rather. At least it's Sargasso. And it's a little bit better than our Draco base. A weird looking lance thing. <laughs> Looks like a blunted lance. 
Probably something else, though. Alright, let's sell the Draco Mace. And let's sell... Oh, I have a Stardust. I probably should... Should I get rid of the Unicorn Ring, or should I keep it just for the free poison? I could keep it, it's just... My bags! Can I sell the corn? <laughs> if I sell the corn, I won't get it back. Let's keep the legendary corn. Kinda sucks that you can't sell the bone. It stays in your inventory forever. I'm almost tempted. I could probably sell the... My class items and get them back later. I should try to reclass my characters with them. Got some unique synergy. It is kind of hard to balance them with like your other team members, though. <laughs> Ta da! Brain. All right, let's do the Stardust. I don't. I don't really care what the Stardust becomes. You can become anything. Uh, I probably won't use it. <laughs> and then for the for the dragon skin, uh, let's see the dragon skin. What can we make with that? You can make dragon mail, robe, shield, helm, or boots. Um, the boots are pretty good for. I think they're like the best defense boot that you can get in the game. Um, I think the other stuff is good as well, but it, like, it does get replaced later, so it's not really a biggie. Trying to get, like, a specific thing. Oh, we got the Stardust Ring! Uses Seal of the Enemy Synergy. Alright, how many- I can make three and then I have to sell some stuff. Uh, I will be very surprised if I don't get a single boot. But that's all I ask. That's all I ask, Sunshine, is that I get a single boot from this dragon skin. <laughs> Even though my golden boots are probably superior, I just want to have access to the boot. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. To what will we make first? I got okay. I got a boot. All right, I'm happy. <laughs> Time to stop. Uh, raises defense and resists. Ooh, okay. It also resists like all the synergies, uh, except for Jupiter, which is where we're going to right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty pretty darn good actually. Hmm. I have to sacrifice speed, but. I will just have that handy. Let's make a few more dragon skin items. I technically don't have to make all ten, but... Do, 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 do. Let's see what I can make next. Maybe I can get some other resistant males. Robe, shield, or helms. <laughs> Too bad I can't do the trial run glitch like later in the game to get like Ori Calcum or I mean Dark Matter is kind of meh. If only I if you had access to more cleric rings, it would actually be good, but yeah, dragon robe. Resist fire and water. Actually, that's probably good for Jenna. She's weak to water. What does the, the depths or blessed rub do? Replenishes HP. Ah, that's fine. Right, let's do it, again. do it again. I can outfit all my characters out. Actually, be nice for this upcoming lighthouse. Then I'll all get replaced. We get some mail or maybe another robe for Chiba to wear. Some stuff for the guys would be nice too, though. Do, do, do. 
Here's the item you wanted. Okay, we got, what is that? <laughs> got dragon mail. Kinda, kinda, uh... Okay, water and... It's good for any of you, boy. <laughs> it just gives him one extra defense compared to the Erebus armor. <laughs> not, not that amazing, but uh, let me give you another dragon skin. Get to work! Let's- I gotta sell some stuff though. Gotta make more space! And I'll sell the Stardust Ring. Sell the boots, we can always buy them back if we want them from our- our- our, our other characters. Can't- can't say words! Half tempted to sell that vial. Maybe I should sell the potions, actually. <laughs> There's all HP. The vials are pretty good for that. Hmm. Hmm. Like the robe. Erebus armor. I'm gonna buy those back, right? I, th I think so. It just didn't say. <laughs> it didn't say, like, oh wow, what a rare item. Whoops. I don't have anything to repair. I wanna check your artifacts. Yeah, that's, that's all re repurchasable. You have all my rings here. Okay, kinda nice to know that you have all the accessories, even though you are technically the apothecary. <laughs> you just hold my potions, lady. Alright, I have to leave town. I, I tend to like avoid using items like in combat. Because <laughs> for some reason, I, I just don't like using stuff that's limited. I just- I just try to use synergies. Ooh, got a helmet! Dragon helm! This water and fire. Oh, less defense. But, more resistance. Raises P. That'll probably be fine. All of the fights that we get into aren't that long. I'm wondering if I should... I wonder if I should get rid of my thorn crown just to give Felix some more resistance. The thorn crown I'm just wearing to mid-max on attack. But the defense boost might be worth it at this point. Because the thorn crown we've had since like I'm very early in the game. Well the first artifact equipment pieces we got. Give all right. We got another mail. I can give two peers. Okay. All right. Now I could use a robe for Sheba. I don't think we we have not gotten one dragon shield yet. If we can get one shield, we're gonna be so beefed up on resistance. <laughs> the fire will not be able to touch us. Literally take on a dragon. There's another robe. Which is... we will have Shiva wear that. Replace the Mooney robe. Um, I'll keep making stuff. I got four skins left. <laughs> I'm not like scumming it, but I'm hoping I can get like maybe a shield. Something that we haven't gotten yet. If we get more mail and more robes, I'm just gonna have to sell them.
<laughs> okay, there's a shield. Shield to Jenna. Which she can't wear that. Resists. Resists more fire and water. <laughs> This appears. Maybe the Aegis shield. Ah, those war gloves. <laughs> I kind of want to just keep the war gloves on for the attack. <laughs> uh, me, me, and my min maxing. It's probably gonna hurt me later. Making Felix a glass cannon. Well... Yeah, I guess I could just kind of sell the last three dragon skin and... I just have it in reserve in case I... I want to make something out of it. Alright, sell the Erebus armor. Sell the Mooney robe. I can always rebuy the egg shield <laughs> if I need something better for Felix. Uh, all this. Yes, I need all this. My space. I have. This. <laughs> I have five spaces. <laughs> I can rebuy those, right? Or am I, am I just gonna find more lucky metals? Up ahead. If I'm just gonna find more lucky metals, I might as well just keep them because they stack. Mm. Oh, right. Minerva Helm. I don't need that. Gather icon. Is it the armor? Armor? -er? Where do I buy that from? Okay, it's you. You that has it. I know I should probably sell them because I'm not gonna use them yet, but I'm just like, what if? What if I just want to spontaneously class, <laughs> class into those? I could totally sell the game tickets. I might really need the unicorn ring. Mm. You know what? I can keep it, and if I, if I decide I don't need it, I can just drop it, and it'll it'll land up in it'll land up in the this section, the artifact section. All right, so we've done enough uh, shopping, enough crafting. They're pretty outfitted. Um, they're probably a little bit overpowered <laughs> when it comes to resistances, so I shouldn't have too much too much problem for the next boss. Um, let's at least get to Jupiter uh, Lighthouse, but we definitely do not have time to complete it. It's gonna be a long dungeon. That'll be a problem for next episode. Hopefully I don't get too lost in Jupiter Lighthouse. I remember it being fairly long and there's like... There's some paths that you shouldn't take because like they just take you back to the beginning. They have to kind of be a little careful. Especially, there's like cyclone, cyclone warps that can just take you to the wrong place. And you have to do like a lot of backtracking if you end up doing that. Which is not a fun time. Oh, I'm already out. Wish I could put this on a shortcut. That doesn't work in the overworld. Do, 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 do. Sailing. All right. Get across here. Northwest. What I've been doing lately, <laughs> other than watching the Magus spread. I've been reading a lot of books, as always. 
Um... I think there's a lot of them I'm reading and then just kind of like forget about them for a while. <laughs> the problem of reading too many manga that aren't complete. But I've been getting, su getting sucked into some of the stories, especially- I've been getting into a lot of, uh, like, the villainess gets reincarnated. Or, like, someone transmigrates into the role of the villainess, and then, like, they end up not doing very many villainous things and end up being a good character, and everyone likes them! Maybe I just like that kind of, like, romance stuff. Uh, I, just, I keep forgetting who has a void. It's Jenna now. I'm still very sad that I have, uh, caught up to the manga of Welcome to Demon School, Irumakun. I've just been waiting every week for, like, a new chapter to come out. It's like, oh man, just... I know it's gonna get good, but just, like, the baby steps, just of reading a chapter and having to wait a week is just, like, killing me. Like, I, I really should just wait. And then just binge it later. I'm kind of sad that this is gonna probably take forever to get, like, an anime adaptation of season four. Like, I know they can do it. They have enough chapters, but uh, according to like the schedule, like we're doing season one, two, and three. There's like a year and a quarter worth of time between seasons, and they just finished season three. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, gotta wait, gotta wait a year. It's like a long time, but you know, other stuff distracts you and. Or you know it's like already there. I'll probably get distracted with Tears of the Kingdom. And other video games. Mm. Alright, finally made it back here. Uh, I'll do one more avoid. Just because the bay has monsters in it. Finally made it. Now I just got to walk to the lighthouse. Oh boy. Alright, made to it. Ateka. <laughs> when we come back to our boat after the lighthouse, we will see a change. So. Yeah, our, our boat will not be the same. I think we just. leaving our boat in the hands of some rando people. Uh, I did not need to do that. Oh well. It's fine, I refreshed it. <laughs> oh, still not high enough level to avoid this. Crucible fire. Alright, Mega Dow, you're dead. <laughs> you're mega dead. Alright, I'm at level 31 samurai. Like, everyone else is gonna be hitting level 31 soon, then. <laughs> okay, so... Like a little whirlpool. Whirlpool effect. Really, you missed? No, oh, you missed. I, good thing I wasn't poisoned. <laughs> this is about... I was, this is, I was thinking about getting rid of my unicorn ring. Good thing I didn't. Destroy the ostriches! We're almost there. Wow, we've been like messing around for just an hour. <laughs> no progression other than other than getting gear and a gin. Yeah, we're like now we have like eight of, eight of each except for Jupiter, which we have seven. Which we are gonna get another Jupiter gin inside the Jupiter lighthouse, so that'll even things out. Okie doke, so we'll save out here. Alrighty. Well, I hope you guys still had a fun time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.